Did George Washington, the first president of the United States, always stand as a paragon of virtue and leadership? This question often echoes through the hallowed halls of history, bouncing off portraits of the iconic leader, his face stoic, his gaze steady. A man of unyielding courage and unwavering resolve, Washington is typically painted as an untarnished hero, a beacon of light in the nascent days of the American Republic. But is this the whole story? Can any human, even one as esteemed as Washington, be devoid of flaws and controversies? The answer, as you may have guessed, is a resounding no. Like the rest of us, Washington was human, complete with his own set of imperfections and controversies that often remain shrouded in the shadows of his larger-than-life image. So, let's allow the pendulum of history to swing away from the usual narrative for a moment and venture into the lesser-known chapters of Washington's life. The man we know as the father of America, the valiant soldier, the wise statesman, was also a slave owner, a land speculator, and a human being susceptible to the same temptations and follies as any of us. The image of Washington, the virtuous leader who could never tell a lie, is deeply ingrained in our collective consciousness. It's a comforting tale that has been passed down generations, but as we peel back the layers of mythology, we find a man much more complex and far more human than the bronze statues and oil paintings would have us believe. It's not about tarnishing his legacy, but rather, about understanding the man in his entirety. For it is in these shadows, in these unseen sides of Washington, that we find a more rounded, more authentic depiction of the man who would become the first president of the United States. So, let's delve into the life of George Washington, beyond the cherry tree myth, and uncover the ugly truths. Because history like life itself, is never as simple as black and white, and our understanding of it should reflect this complexity. Did you know that George Washington was a slave owner? This might come as a surprise but it's an aspect of Washington's life that is often glossed over in the history books. Let's delve into this less celebrated facet of his life. George Washington became a slave owner at a young age, when he inherited about 10 slaves from his father's estate at just 11 years old. As he grew older and his wealth increased, so did his ownership of slaves. By the time of his death, more than 300 individuals were enslaved at his Mount Vernon estate. This picture of Washington as a slave owner is a stark contrast to the one we often hold of him as a champion of liberty, the man who fought for America's freedom from British rule. This discrepancy between his personal life and his public image is a contradiction that is hard to reconcile. After all, how could the man who boldly declared that all men are created equal and led a revolution in the name of liberty justify owning other human beings? Washington's views on slavery were complex and evolved over time. Early in his life, he seemed to accept slavery as a fact of life in colonial Virginia. However, his experiences in the Revolutionary War, where he commanded both free and enslaved African Americans, began to change his perspective. By the end of his life, Washington had grown uncomfortable with the institution of slavery. He expressed a desire for its gradual abolition and provided for the manumission, or release, of his slaves, in his will. However, his actions were not entirely altruistic. His will stipulated that his slaves would only be freed after the death of his wife Martha, a provision that arguably served to protect his estate more than it did to uphold the rights of the enslaved. Washington's struggle with the institution of slavery paints a complex picture of a man at odds with his own ideals. His legacy, like that of many historical figures, is a mix of admirable achievements and uncomfortable truths a testament to the fact that our heroes are, after all, human. George Washington, a land speculator? Yes, indeed. Our first president, the revered General Washington, was not just a military man and statesman but also a shrewd land speculator. In fact, his involvement in land speculation was a significant part of his life and wealth. It all started in his early 20s when Washington began to acquire vast tracts of land, particularly in the western frontier. The land was abundant the opportunities plentiful, and the potential for profit was immense. But the methods he used to acquire some of this land were questionable to say the least. Washington's ruthless pursuit of land often involved exploiting loopholes in the law, bending rules, and even outright deception. In one instance, he used a law intended to reward veterans of the French and Indian War with land grants. Washington, himself a veteran, was entitled to a grant, but he didn't stop there. He used his influence to acquire additional land grants intended for other veterans, 
some of whom never saw a single acre of their promised land. In another instance, Washington negotiated deals with Native American tribes, promising them goods and protection in exchange for their land. But these deals were often lopsided, favoring Washington and his associates at the expense of the tribes. It's important to note that land speculation was not uncommon in those times. Many of the founding fathers were involved in it, but Washington's aggressive approach and his willingness to bend or break rules for personal gain was exceptional. And this was at odds with his public image as the virtuous leader, the selfless public servant who put country before self. So, why does this matter? Well, it's a reminder that even the most revered figures in our history were human, with their own ambitions, flaws, and ethical blind spots. It's a reminder that we should always strive to see the whole picture, not just the polished image presented to us. Washington's land dealings reveal a side of him that doesn't quite fit the image of a selfless public servant. His story is a complex tapestry, woven with threads of greatness and ambition, virtue and vice, and it's this complexity that makes him all the more fascinating, and all the more human. So, was George Washington a saint or a sinner? Now that's a question that's likely to ruffle a few feathers. But it's crucial to understand that just like you and me, George Washington was a human being. A mix of virtues and vices, strengths and weaknesses, triumphs and failures. We often tend to put historical figures, especially those as significant as Washington, on a pedestal. We view them through rose-tinted glasses as untarnished heroes. But history isn't black and white, it's a vibrant, messy, colorful tapestry of human experiences and emotions. And to truly appreciate the contributions of these towering figures, we must strive to understand them in their full complexity and humanity. George Washington was no exception. He was a man of his time, living in an era vastly different from ours with its own set of norms and values. His actions, which may seem questionable to us today, need to be seen in the context of the era he lived in. He was a slave owner, yes, but he also expressed discomfort with the institution and even freed his slaves in his will. He was a land speculator indeed, but he also had a deep respect for the rule of law and worked tirelessly to build a nation based on democratic principles. This isn't to justify his actions or brush aside his flaws, instead, it's an attempt to paint a more nuanced picture of the man who was after all, the first president of the United States. It's a reminder that even the greatest among us are human, shaped by the circumstances of their time and the personal battles they fought. In the end, the image of Washington that emerges is not of a flawless hero, but of a complex, multifaceted individual. A man who, despite his flaws and contradictions, played a pivotal role in shaping the course of history. Remember, even the most revered figures in history were human, with all the flaws and contradictions that entails.